Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. It really is. NASA has released enhanced video from man's first walk on the moon in 1969. The video was broadcast on television at the time, but most of the video recordings have been locked away for nearly 40 years. Neil Armstrong, 38-year-old American, standing on the surface of the moon. On this July 20th, 1969. That's one small step for man. When Neil Armstrong made his first steps on the moon, it was viewed by what might have been the largest television audience ever, more than half a billion people around the world. But how the video was captured is a story in itself. Because of skepticism of the time, NASA believed live video from the moon was crucial for credibility of the mission. And Stan Labar of Westinghouse Electric was called on to develop the cameras that had to withstand the extreme conditions of plus or minus 250 degrees, and they had to operate on very little power. And the power was totally 7 watts, which is the power that one Christmas light bulb would take. The camera that captured Armstrong's first steps was mounted on a swinging door on the lunar module. When Armstrong came out on the porch, he pulled a D-ring which opened a, a, a door, a large door, that had the camera mounted on it. So when the door swung out, the camera was positioned so it saw the, uh, the ladder, and that's how that image was taken. I'd like to explain briefly uh, to you, if you'll put up the first graphic of how TV got from the moon. The video seen by millions was actually transmitted through a tracking station in Australia then back up to a satellite, back to Earth in Houston, and then to television networks. The video released today comes from various so-called slow-scan tape recordings made at the time found at NASA, the National Archives, and the CBS Network Archives. The video was digitized and enhanced by the Lowry Digital Company. It's 37 years after the invention of the very seminal technology, video noise reduction, that John Lowry pioneered on the Apollo 16 and 17 missions. 40 years from the Apollo project, and now we have the privilege of taking this new advanced technology that puts quality at a premium and tries to extract everything possible from motion sequences and bringing it back to NASA one more time. On the left is the available archival video now, a uh, dark image. On the right, you're now starting to see the full body of Neil Armstrong coming down the steps. It's lightened up. There's more detail. You see his helmet now. You see the reflection in his helmet. There is nothing being created. There is nothing being manufactured. We are restoring and extracting data that's in the video. The release includes 15 key moments from Neil Armstrong's and Buzz Aldrin's historic moonwalk, including what's known as the flag raising. If on the left, as you see, I think it's a very good depiction of where we're headed. Uh, the noise, the lack of detail in the upper part, bottom part of the lunar module. If you look on the right, you start seeing a lot of detail. It's clean. The surface of the moon is lit properly. This is the, from the sun. It was a camera and, and scan converter uh, issues on darkness. Uh, this is, there's your archival. This is what most of the world saw. Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now. And now we're looking at restored video. And the detail on the lunar module and the astronauts and the overall picture clarity and cleanliness is, is coming along just terrific. Navsker points out that while they are releasing newly enhanced video, there was no missing video discovered. He says all the video taken on the mission was transmitted to television in 1969. Both hands down about the fourth rung up. There you go. 